Welcome to Little Seeds of Faith, a podcast where children help read a treasured Bible story, and we get a chance to explore and talk about the lessons we learn. Hi, my name is Joni, and I love reading. My most treasured book to read is the Bible. The Bible has great adventures, love stories, stories of hope and truth, and most importantly, stories of faith. Welcome to Little Seeds of Faith. I am so excited to read with you today. For the month of December, we are going to be doing things just a little bit different. Instead of reading a whole story, we're going to be talking about three different topics that we find throughout the Bible. We've already discussed joy and peace, and today we're going to be talking about our third topic. Shall we begin? Are you afraid of the dark? Do you get worried or scared when your parents turn out the lights at bedtime? Have you ever gone for walks at night when you had no light to guide your way? Being in the dark can be scary, and you can't see what is around the corner. You might walk into something because you can't see. Let's talk about light. You can't talk about light without talking about darkness. They go together. If everything is dark, the world is scary. But with light, we can find our way. Light and darkness is a topic that goes throughout the whole Bible from the beginning to the end. So let's read what the Bible has to say about light. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light! And there was light. God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. He called the light day and the darkness night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. Genesis 1 verse 1 to 5. What was the world like before creation? It was unformed, it was dark, and nothing ruled on it. We read that God spoke and said, Let there be light. The first words of God that we read, he brings light into the dark space. Once light was in the world, he could create a beautiful creation that was very good. Without the light, the world would be dark and unable to be good. When we are talking about darkness in the Bible, we are not just talking about a dark night or a dark bedroom, but about people that are doing whatever their hearts desire with no care for anyone else. They might not even know they are doing bad things, because light has not shined upon them. God knew at the beginning of time the world needed light, and he called it forth. He didn't just give us physical light so that we could see what was in front of us, but he also gave us Jesus, who is the true, everlasting light. When we shine Jesus' light around, people can see that they are doing wrong things and hopefully turn towards the light and bring order to themselves. Jesus spoke to them again, I am the light of the world. Anyone who follows me will never walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. John 8, 12. Jesus says he is the light of the world. How is Jesus the light of the world? Well, Jesus never sinned. Can you picture a battle between light and darkness? Who would win? Light? or dark? In the ultimate battle between light and dark, we see that light won with Jesus, and when he won over darkness, it was made a way for us to win the battle against darkness too. Jesus overcame darkness for good. When we know Jesus and believe that his death was for us, then we can have eternal life. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. John 9, verse 5. Let's think about David and Goliath, which I read with Elijah. David didn't have an easy life. After he killed Goliath, King Saul wanted to kill David, which I read with Benny about Jonathan warning David about his father, King Saul, wanting to kill him. You could say David had some dark days, hiding in dark caves and being fearful for his life, but he didn't let that keep him down. We read in Psalms that he had a light that was guiding his paths. You, Lord, keep my lamp burning. My God turns my darkness 
into the light. Psalms 18.28 Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on to my path. Psalms 119, verse 105. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27, 1. David used the light to keep himself out of darkness and fear. The light guided him to do what was right and not go after King Saul to kill him. I also write another story about Paul on the way to Damascus with Zante. What did Paul see? Acts chapter 9 verse 3. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven. What was the light that he saw? It was Jesus. And that light changed his whole life and whole outlook. He went from wanting to persecute people because they were followers of Jesus to wanting everyone to be followers of Jesus. The light blinded him, but changed the darkness inside of him to light. We have a life where we have to battle between light and dark. When Jesus' light shines on us, we have a choice. Do we allow it to change us, or do we want to stay in the darkness, living the life of sin? Let no one deceive with empty arguments, for God's wrath is coming on the disobedient of these things. Therefore do not become their partners, for you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists of all goodness, righteousness, and the truth, testing what is pleasing to the Lord. Don't participate in the fruitless works of darkness, but instead expose them. For it is shameful even to mention what is done by them in secret. Everything is exposed by the light is made visible. For what makes everything visible is light. Therefore it is said, get up, sleeper, and rise up from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Ephesians 5, 6-14 Some people choose to stay in the darkness, living a fruitless life. What you do, how you act, shows where you choose to live. If you're living in darkness, you would only care for yourself. You would talk back. Maybe you'd go as far as stealing and being naughty. Your life would be chaotic. But when you walk in the light, it consists of goodness, righteousness, truth, love, compassion, and all the fruits of the Spirit. Let's think about your dark bedroom at night. Maybe you think you see something scary in the corner. And once you shine your flashlight in the corner or turn the light on in your room, you see nothing there. Maybe it's just a pile of clothes that looked scary. Everything exposed by the light is made visible. Like turning the light on and you see what was in the corner of your room. When we allow Jesus' light to turn on in our lives, he shows us the wrong things in our life that need to be changed and fixed. Adam and Eve's sin shows us that our characters always seem to want to be in darkness, doing the wrong things. But God knew, even before Adam and Eve, that we need light to live. Remember, the first thing that he did was bring light into the world. He is our light in the dark world. He is our guide. And when we allow him to be our light, we then can shine his light on others and they also can be in the light. Jesus too is our light. And together with God, their light is so bright that when we read in Revelation, And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon to shine in it. For the glory of God did lighten it. And the Lamb is the light thereof. Revelation chapter 21 verse 23. Their light is so bright that we don't even need the sun anymore. Now I have a favorite verse on light. The night is far gone, the day is at hand. So then let us cast off the works of the darkness and put on the armor of the light. Romans 13 verse 12. See, this is my favorite verse because I can paint a picture in my mind of what this is. Let us put on the armor of light. Can you picture that? 
Putting on the armor of light is like putting on clothing to guide your way, to protect you. Have you ever walked around with a flashlight at night and your light guides your way and shows what is hiding in the darkness? Well, that flashlight is not just for you, but for those that are walking with you. That is what I picture when I think about the armor of light. When you put it on, you are the one shining the light to help yourself and others to see. Living in the light is a choice. We get to put it on. Do you choose to put on the armor of light? You are the light of the world. A city situated on a hill cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a basket, but rather on a lamp's lampstand and it gives light for all who are in the house in the same way let your light shine before others that so they that they may see your good works and give glory to your father in heaven matthew 5 verse 14 through 16 have you sung the sunday school song this little light of mine hide it under a bushel no don't hide your light under a bushel put on the armor of light Don't hide it. Shine it. What does light look like when you shine it? Well, it's our good fruits. They're fruits of the Spirit. There's obeying God and Jesus who ask us to love each other and not love the things of this world. It is putting our life in order and not living a life that is chaotic and doing fruitless deeds. The Apostle John says of Jesus, In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. John 1, verse 4 and 5. Light is defined as life. In him, that is Jesus, was life, and life was the light of men. Those that have faith in him will have eternal life. This life is a gift. Now, darkness is present in the absence of light, the absence of eternal life, and darkness referring to death spiritually. Those who walk in darkness do not have eternal life. The only way to receive life is to know light in God's promises. What I want you to remember about light is that light contains darkness. On day one of creation, God brought us light. His glory over the whole world. Once we shine light on chaos, we can see what is wrong and fix it and make it right. Light lets us see what is hidden by the darkness, and we get to put those chaotic, unorganized things in order. Change your character from being hateful to loving, from being impatient to being patient, from being sorrowful to joyful. When we live in the light, It is continuous work to keep the darkness away, but we can do that work because Jesus is here helping us. When we do the work for ourselves, others will then be able to see our light shining. Jesus is our light. He has shown us the way to live, the way to eternal life, the way to the kingdom. Follow him on the path of light. And giving joyful thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of his holy people in the kingdom of light. Colossians 1, verse 12. Hi, I'm Ellie. When I think of light, I think of my name. That means bright light. I'm Drew. When I think of light, I think of God. Hi, I'm Heidi. When I think of light, I think of the sun. Hi, I'm Amos, and when I think of light, I think of Saul on the road to Damascus and when he gets blinded from God's greatness and light. I'm Benny. When I think of light, I think of the sun in the sky. I'm Tate. When I think of the light, I think of the moon that lights the night sky. Hi, I'm Jillian. When I think of light, I think of how God is a light unto my path. I hope this podcast planted a little seed of faith in you today. If you would like to read with me, go to wcfoundation.org. Click on the little seeds of faith icon, scroll down, and there you'll find a spot that says apply here. 
Did you know that some of our outreach programs help those in financial, medical, and emotional crisis? Bad things happen in the lives of many. We believe in helping those who have stumbled. This includes assisting on the cost of emergency medical procedures, help to those who have lost employment or those facing a sudden challenge due to emotional difficulties. If you would like to donate, please visit wcfoundation.org and look for the link Invest in Faith.